Hey, what is up? I don't much care for getting the perfect camera angles. We're not actually going to be seeing anything worthwhile. The whole point of this, this, look at that. Look at, let me brighten this up a bit so we can actually, look at that, that. This is why we don't care. <laughs> I kind of, it made me laugh that, uh, I don't know who it was, but somebody, like some kind of like either marketing person or uh, like public relations person from the, from Sony, Basically say, hey, it's been a pretty slow news day today, so here's some news for y'all. Our stock just rose 8%. That is hilarious. Like, that, that is how you know you fucked up. When you do your big, giant reveal that you've been building up to for a month, that's supposed to be this groundbreaking new game console, and your competitor stock goes up. <laughs> that is hilarious. Now, anyway... Here's my basic, this is, like, I mean, just, before I get into the whole Microsoft stupidity thingy, I'm gonna just go and do, like, a little bit of a, uh, update on myself. Basically, what, uh, is going on with me is just that I'm not really interested, uh, in the fighting games that are available right now. Like, I tried, I actually, the most recent game that I tried to play was Darkstalkers, because I do enjoy Darkstalkers, even though I am complete trash at it, I haven't really sat, I mean, I haven't sat down to practice it at all, and that makes me terrible at it, but still, I do enjoy the game, and I enjoyed playing it. That game died very quickly. I don't know how it is on the PS3, but on the Xbox, it died very, very quickly. Holy shit, like, I tried for a week to play that game, just every single time I would log in at different times of the day, look for player matches, nothing. Look for ranked matches, nothing. I'd sit there, I'd make my own player match room, sit there for like 15 minutes, nothing. NAT 2 settings sometimes, NAT 1 settings the other times, still nothing. Didn't matter. Got nothing. That game died, and that sucks, because I do really like that game. I think it's a very fun game. Uh, and unfortunately, I mean, like, I don't know, it's kind of, I'm kind of, bent on whether or not I'm okay with it dying because maybe Capcom might look at that and be like ah oh, well you know maybe we won't make a new dog stalkers now but also on the flip side of that they can't you know they're not doing too great lately in the whole games department in my own opinion so maybe it's good that they didn't get the chance to destroy dark stalkers somehow and however they would choose to do it maybe it's good they did not pick to do so anyway um, Marvel is just, it doesn't really interest in me anymore. Like, yay, like, Zero won a major now, finally. A bunch of people were all happy about that, but whoop de doo Virgil was on the team too. Like, Virgil wins majors and just carries people along with him. Or Virgil Doom, or, well, yeah, pretty much Virgil Doom. They just carry another character along with them. That's how Firebrand won a major. Well, actually, that was Morgan Doom, but that was Chris G. Chris G wins majors, and then somebody using Virgil or Doom or both they win majors like that's marvel now i don't really care for it to be perfectly honest like i used to love that game used to be my favorite fighting game to play and it kind of just you know it's settled into a rut now everybody knows like at least until somebody comes out with something groundbreaking everybody is settled into their teams i mean even if it's not groundbreaking like remember that tech with she hulk and spider-man like that's pretty goddamn dirty but nobody used like I saw one person use that at Big Two or Next Level Battle Circuit, whatever the hell it's called now, and that was it. Like I never saw it again. So even if like game breaking tech is found, it's still not as easy as Virgil Doom is. <laughs> so like, what's the point, right? Anyway, let's move on from that. So this whole Microsoft PlayStation, the next generation of consoles. Notice how I did not say Wii U in there at all? There's a reason for that, because they don't got no games. They don't got no games. There's no reason to buy a Wii U, unfortunately. I mean, like, the 3DS looks like it's going strong, and they got some good shit coming up for that. But, uh, the rest of... Uh, uh, the Wii U is not looking good at all. Things are not looking up for them. Things are really looking up for Sony, though, because Sony is actually, like, see, the thing is, they're not even doing anything. They're sitting back and letting Microsoft kill themselves. They didn't say shit when that dude came out and was like, yo, on, on Twitter. It was like, yo, you don't like having to be always online? Too bad. You're going to buy it anyway. Number deal with it. And he got fired. <laughs> Way to go, dude. Congratulations, you dumbass. Sony didn't bother. They didn't say anything. They let it rock. 
this whole thing happens. If Sony is smart, they won't say a damn thing, and they will just let this rock. Why? Because number one, they said flat out. Now there's this. I, I actually I should have kept it open so I could actually like give proper perfect details on who it was. It was a vice president of something. You know what? Fuck that. I will go find it very quickly while I talk. Basically, the entire thing of them, their entire announcement of this shit was, oh, hey, this is not just a game console. This will be your all-in-one entertainment system. You'll have your TV. You'll have your internet. You'll have, I have my computer for my internet. I have my TV for my TV. I want a game console. There are a shit ton of people out there Basically, everybody that was there and that was watching this shit, that is watching it because it was supposed to be a game console. And you're telling me that's taking a back seat to all this other shit that I already got, that I'm keeping, that I'm not going to just throw out the door just because of the next Xbox, the Xbox One, good, yeah, this is definitely a first one, you dumbasses. Terrible name. <laughs> and you're telling me that somehow that is going to be superior than all the shit that I have that is dedicated to that one purpose. That's the thing that pisses me off, is because I have never, ever, 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 in games, in life, anywhere, have I ever had something that was a multi-purpose tool of some kind that was not as, that was not, I mean, that was better than something that was dedicated for that purpose. There was always something out there that like is literally made to be this one thing that will be better at it than anything else that's made to be two or three or four or however many things out there that there are. In video games, you try to make a tank character. You cannot make a character that is like the best tank available while also making them just like these incredibly offensive powerhouses, like the best offense available. It doesn't happen. You gotta pick one or the other. You want somebody who is doing like devastating magic but you also want somebody who can do swordplay up front that doesn't happen you cannot have you it just it unless the game is like designed for that where you can just be overpowering in a bunch of areas you cannot be the best at two you can either be the best at one specific purpose and let other things cover your weaknesses or you can just make a solid decent at everything thing but never Ever will you make something that is excellent at everything? So when they're trying to tell me that they have this all-in-one entertainment box of like six things, the only thing that registers in my mind is, oh, I'm going to have six subpar things that I could just, you know, have individual stuff for that's all going to be better quality, that's going to be easier to use, that's going to be, that look better, whatever, any way you can look at it. It's not going to be as good as those things. So I already don't give a shit, like, just hearing that. But then this, this thing, basically, they have, they have this big used games within the console plan. There's no real details on it yet, but there's one dude, and this is what I wanted to look up what the dude's title was. Where is it? Oh, he's the corporate vice president. I thought he was, like, a vice president of something. Like, a vice president of, like, public relations or a vice president of, I don't know, something. But, you know, he's the corporate vice president of Microsoft. Phil Harrison, this is a quote from him. Where is it? But what if you bring a game disc to a friend's house and play there? You'll have to pay a fee. And not just some sort of activation fee, but the actual price of that game in order to use a game's code on a friend's account. Think of it like a new game, Harrison said. The bits are on that disc. You can give it to your friend and they can install it on Xbox One. They would then have to purchase the right to play that game through Xbox Live. If that does not just immediately scream, you guys are the dumbest motherfuckers on the planet. I don't know. We have a fundamental disagreement of how life works. Like, that is just the dumb... I mean, it's already bad enough because the thing is, it's the same exact thing as that whole SOPA shit. For those of you that remember, the bill that was basically... It was supposed to just hurt online piracy. That was the purpose of it. The purpose of this is just to hurt used game sales. But there are so many other things that it will affect that have nothing to do with that aspect that it's intended for that just everybody's going to look at it and be like, well, no, fuck you then. 
I'm not buying your console. I mean, it kill. Number one, I have a GameFly account. This would kill it. This would make it purposeless. I would have no need for a GameFly account if I have to rent a game and then buy it to play it. Unless they made some specific deal with GameFly that basically said, you know, y'all here's, you know, y'all will support you guys. We'll supply you guys with codes that people with rental codes that people can use. And they, I don't know, they laugh. I don't actually know how that would work. Because now that I think about it, like, there's no way they would agree to let people just permanently have that game available if they game flight it. Like, that, they would not do that. They're too, the, the, entire, the entire fact that this whole conversation, this whole aspect of the Xbox One exists, supports that they would have no interest in allowing somebody to have that code and continue to utilize it for a significant amount of time. But... That would basically mean they'd have to supply codes that last for a limited time, which again destroys the purpose of Gamefly. The entire point of Gamefly is you can rip this game and use it for as long as you decide to. And so if you have a time limit, now all of a sudden it's not the same. It's not worth as much as it used to be. Somehow Gamefly is getting fucked with this. You know, like they're going to have to pay Microsoft for those codes. Or, you know, that's going to something is going to happen that is not going to keep it convenient. To utilize as it is right now and just like if it was a five dollar fee ten dollar fee fifteen dollar okay i mean i get it i understand it i don't support it but i get it you want to see a little bit of money from used game stuff okay i don't know i would never per personally i would never choose that path but i understand the mindset of why you would but charging the price of a full game, a full game to activate it, I, that, that is, there is no logic. There is no logical reasoning for you to charge that much. Especially if you're basically trying to tell me your disc is meaningless. Your physical copy of this game is meaningless. That's what we're paying for, basically. Like, the whole entire like one of the biggest reasonings for people that for games to be as expensive as they are is because you're getting a physical copy you're getting the box you're getting the disc you're getting the manual they're doing away with all that like as time goes by people are doing digital manuals now people are trying to sell their games digitally and not sell them physically they're trying to do away with that already yet you're trying to still try and tell me that even though this physical copy of my game is meaningless, useless, I may as well snap it in half and throw it away because I can just play it from the hard drive directly anyway. But you're trying to tell me that I should still spend the money for it. And you expect me to swallow that and just be like, oh yeah, okay, it's fine, it tastes good, it tastes great, it doesn't taste like bullshit at all. No. <laughs> Fuck you. That's not gonna happen. Like, this basically solidified the only thing right now, to be perfectly blunt, that would make me second guess myself about not getting an xbox one was if bioware walked out right now and said all of our games from the from this moment onwards are microsoft exclusives that is the only thing and you know what i still wouldn't even buy one until the price went down and i would wait to buy it but i would still be like god damn it i'd be sad i would be sad but it still would not be enough to make me go out and be like yeah i'm gonna i, I should buy this console there is nothing right now. Maybe they'll do something amazing when E3 rolls around. Maybe. I highly doubt it. But maybe they'll have something that'll make me change my mind and want an Xbox One. But as of right now, you may consider me the proud pre-owner of a PS4. I don't give a fuck about the Xbox One at this point. Like, there was, there was a higher chance of me getting an Xbox One before this entire event that they paid... I can't imagine how much money to do, to pull off. For the venue, for the people, for the footage, for everything. Can't imagine how much money they spent. And it served to dissuade myself, and judging from the internet, quite a few others, from bothering with their console from this moment forward. So, shout outs to you guys. I just wanted to give y'all a video, just to kind of like, um, uh, that. So you could understand why it's been so long since there's been a video, why I'm not doing, you know, why I'm not trying to upload videos every once in a while as I usually was. And the reasoning behind that is just that the games that I do enjoy playing 
are not overly... Oh, I forgot to talk about Guilty Gear. The games that I like to play right now are not overly popular. They're not... It's not incredibly easy to find a match. And, like, if I do find a match, if the person doesn't stick around and want to continue playing for the length of a video, I basically just got, like, two minutes of footage, and I'm sitting around for, like, 10 minutes, 15 minutes looking for another match. And that's too much. I don't want to edit video. Fuck that. But then, and then, I mean, so that's basically the reason why there hasn't been any videos. The other reason, I did say, you know, hey, I'm looking to do more playthroughs recently. The reason that has not happened, I have actually gotten a bunch of games from Gamefly. I played a bunch of games from Gamefly. What, the most recent one was actually Growl Lancer Generations for the PlayStation 2, which was interesting. I didn't actually beat it because it just, it got to a point where it's like, it's a good game, but there are a lot of little things that make it frustrating and I just, I didn't really care enough about the story to continue going all the way forward. But still, I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know why I talked about it. Anyway, moving on. I'm tired and I'm rambling, I apologize. Guilty Gear Exerd? Is that what it's called? Like, I mean, basically, the entire, I mean, I didn't know much about Guilty Gear. I kind of forgot that the most recent Guilty Gear was called Guilty Gear XX Accent Core. Or whatever, I don't actually know. I know XX Accent Core is one of them. I don't know if that was the most recent one. But anyway, that was basically the reason why. It's basically like a twist on X and 3rd. Because they obviously didn't want to go with Guilty Gear Triple X. Since Blaze Blue Sex had enough problems. Ah, <laughs> uh, but still, like... Why don't you just change the entire thing? Like, Guilty Gear x -erd? What? That's just stupid. That's a terrible name. I mean, there obviously isn't much to go off of. They just did a little bit of footage of uh, Soul Fighting Kai. And it looked... I'm pretty sure it was rendered. I don't think it was actually, like, perfectly. This is how the game is going to look in motion. I don't know, obviously. But it's not overly significant news because it's kind of the same thing as Blaze Blue, as Chrono Phantasm was. How long ago was Phantasm announced? It feels like it's been almost a year. Not that long. It may have, How long has it been? Like five, four, five, six months? Been forever. That's actually probably how long it's been since it came out on Arcade. It was probably announced before that. Anyway, Jesus. Anyway, I don't even know if that game has a release date yet. I saw somewhere October 2013... But I have no idea if that's an actual release date or if that was just like, yeah, let's just put a release date on here. Because usually the Blaze Blue games come out around that time, kind of, maybe. I don't know. I don't even know if that's game, that game's had an announcement. As far as I actually know, it has. Because it's had an announcement for PlayStation in Japan, but nothing here, right? Am I right on that? I haven't been paying attention. Anyway, I, I, that still is, I don't know, like, that game, I, it's taken forever for that game to get here, so it's like, if it's taking that long for Chrono Phantasm to happen, we're gonna be waiting a while for Guilty Gear, so I'm not terribly excited about it right now, like, there's no point getting hyped up over it, when I know it's gonna be at least a year, if not two, to actually see, to actually have the ability to play that game in the first place. But still, it's pretty cool, they're, it's good to know that they're making a new one, it's good to know that at least Arc System Works is willing to still support their franchises, their old franchises that have old fan bases. It's good to know that a company like that still exists. Capcom. You jerks. <laughs> anyway, that's basically everything. I mean, there really wasn't anything else to talk about. I just want to let y'all know that uh, you shouldn't be expecting any... I mean, maybe someday I'll just wake up and have the inclination to pop in Marvel and play it. Maybe. Wouldn't count on anything. But it's possible. Uh, but I definitely wouldn't be counting on any... I didn't finish my thought about the playthroughs. I wouldn't be counting on any, like, significant, uh... What word am I thinking of? Um... Con not co constant wasn't the word I was thinking of, but it's similar. Constant videos from me. The regular. Well, that one, I don't even know. Whatever. I'm stupid. Have no vocabulary. That's what happens. Stay in school. <laughs> I wouldn't count on any, uh, regular footage of stuff from me. Because... I mean, like I said, fighting game, the games that I enjoy playing, uh, there are not enough people who share that view to play them, to get uh, matches often enough, to make for good videos. Um, then, you know, obviously get single player games are always available, but the Bioware Infinite thing got like 25, 
30, like, I'm getting depressed just remembering. 25 to 30 views per video on average. Like, believe me when I say those of you that did watch that, that watched the playthrough of it, I love you dearly. You are, like, my favorite people in the world that I don't actually know. <laughs> You're awesome, but that's just not, that is not enough to justify recording a game for hours and uploading for hours as new. <laughs> like, there's nothing there that makes me think, yeah, it's, it's worthwhile effort. Worth doing, worth continuing, should continue to support it. It's just, uh, it's unfortunate, but that's just how it is. So, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna let y'all get back to your regularly scheduled lives so that you can go back on the internet and use my profound and significantly uh, singular thoughts that are shared with nobody. Nobody's heard this before yet already about the Xbox One. Now I'm gonna let you get back to your lives. Thank you again, all of you people that watch. I wish that something was currently out and available. Oh, Injustice. Well, I heard Injustice is online. It's trash. But yeah, it's, it's been at the top of my game for like you since it came out. And I just have not been... I've gone through like five, six games, I think, since Injustice came out. And I just have not been lucky enough to get it. Who knows? I mean, like I said, I've heard that, unfortunately, the online is pretty subpar overall. It's better than Mortal Kombat, but that's not saying much because Mortal Kombat was, like, one of the worst. I haven't experienced it personally, but people basically say it's barely a step above King of Fighters online, and King of Fighter 13's online was depressing. So, if it's anywhere even near that, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. So that's that. Thanks for listening. Peace out.